Well, that's interesting. So, I created a video a while ago called Beat Saber with a Budget, and now that is my most viewed video on my channel with 1,700 views. And as far as I can tell, most people are asking for a tutorial, so I'm going to make one. So before I download anything, I'm just going to start by saying to do this, you are going to need to install Steam VR, which is right here. And I'm pretty sure you can do that just by looking it up in Steam. And you will also need a uh, Beat Saber. Uh, or, well, actually, you don't need Beat Saber. If you want to play Beat Saber, then yes, you need Beat Saber. If you don't have Beat Saber, I actually can get you guys a free version, but it's not updated, so I recommend getting the updated version. So yeah, I'm going to start by explaining how to do this with Wii Remotes, and then later I'll move on to how to do it with the Kinect. But first, let's start in Steam. So what you're going to do is go to Store, and you need to look up Ivory Driver. This is if you guys don't have a headset, which I'm assuming if you're using mirror modes, you probably don't. So basically you also need your phone for this, because that's what you're going to use for the VR display. You don't need this, there's also another option that can just let you use it um, with the screen on the TV, but if you want to, then you download this Ivory Driver for Steam VR and download, and I'll get back to you as soon as that's finished. So the next thing you're going to need is uh, Ivory, the driver for s the Steam app we just installed. So if you just go on Google Play Store and look up Ivory, it's right here, and I have it installed, but you just need to install it, and then you'll be ready. Uh, so it actually comes in a light edition for now, but you can pay to upgrade it. Uh, I personally just used Lucky Patcher and got it for free, but yeah. So that's all you need to do on the phone for now, and I'll go back to the computer. Next up, you're going to need driver for VR, so you go to Google and look up driver for VR. And it's this thing. I'll put the link in the description if you guys can't find it. But what you do is you come over here to download, and you're going to need to create an account. This you also have to pay for, but it also has a trial version, so... Uh, I'm gonna log in real quick and I'll be right back. A few moments later. So after you've created an account, or maybe even just signed in, you click download here and save. So then, then you open it. Allow. And it's here. You accept the grievance and next and next and install. So that's pretty much about it. Now we have to just have to connect the Wii remotes. So what you do is, if you just click, if you you come down, and click this arrow, and click the Bluetooth thing. It, if you click add a Bluetooth device, it's gonna ask for a password, so it doesn't really work. So what you're gonna have to do is click here, and then click on join a personal area network. Then click add a device, and press sync on the Wii remote, and it should show up. And just press next and it'll set this one up if you have two which I do then you have to do this with both if you don't then you can also plug in a nunchuck and that's also supported by the app but yeah so add a device do it with this one There it is, input device. Next. And now these are both set up. So now leave them on the table, uh, standing still, or staying still. And then, give me a sec. Then we're gonna launch driver for VR. So, you click here and you click launch. Uh, sign in with your username and password and I'll be right back again. Meanwhile, you can now launch Ivory on your phone, like this, and then light edition, let me purchase that with my hack, and I'm now premium. 
So you, this thing works with either Wi-Fi or USB. If you choose Wi-Fi, it's going to be less stable, but it's also going to be somehow more reliable. When I plug in with USB, half the time it kind of just cuts out and doesn't work. And also there's really annoying cords, so I, I'm just going to use Wi-Fi. So now you have Ivory here. Let me take out the phone case. And you grab your USB. You grab your your headset. I have this. It's not great, but it's not terrible. So then you just kind of put it in there. So now all we have to do is launch I read driver for Steam VR. Don't launch it from driver for VR or actual Steam VR. Launch it from here. The first time, you can launch it anywhere any other time, but first time it should be here. So. 20 minutes later. This is loading. There we go. So now, make sure your Wii remotes are still, and then click Start Driver for VR. Before that, this is for the Wii remotes. You can uh, cl click Virtual Trackers for this. Then click Start Driver for that. I'm not using that. Don't need to restart it. Okay, now press start driver for VR. And the Wii remotes should vibrate and show two lights like this. That means that lets you know that they're connected. And then click on tracker manager. And usually these will both be off. So all you have to do is switch on the Wii remote one. So I want to use the Wii remote and nunchuck. Then click update list if these don't show up yet. And then just assign one to each, it doesn't really matter. And now Steam VR should be working. So, now I'm actually going to do it with the Kinect. So, you don't really have to install anything new, you just need to drive it to the And you're going to need a Kinect USB adapter to connect it to your computer. So, once you have it, set it up somewhere, and then switch head tracking, if you don't have anything else, and switch hand tracking, both to Kinect skeleton. And I'm going to turn on TPR, you guys can keep using the VR headset. But then click on configuration. For something like Beat Saber, I recommend having it fast. And because we are must not actually calculate the rotation, but for y'all, which is what you uh, set it to hand elbow angle. And we are must not track very well, so if I use a connect, I don't use the rotation at all. So it's just over all the rotation. So I have to restart our VR to make the changes. So just turn that off and close it. Back. You don't really have to make sure you are leaving it still this time because they don't do anything. You click dri start driver for VR. If you're if you're using a headset, then you click receive the calibration, and then you face the headset towards the connect. But because I'm not, I can just click calibrate without doing anything. And then you're done here. And the Wii remote should once again vibrate, and it just did. So now. I'm going to show you gameplay with the Kinect. Of course, you also need to run the room set up again if you buy that. So you put this one in one way. And then for the Kinect ones, you're going to actually need to stand somewhere where you can uh, see everything. So, next. I prefer to have better for VR on here. So you click connect device settings and it just shows a picture 
of the neck. As you can see, I'm going to And that, that is so you put the neck again. You have to do 100, you have to do your height unless you put your head on the ground. Again, with the trigger on the rear one. So now you can launch Beat Saber and you can play it with, while swinging your hands as hard as you want, which is actually way better. So, let's show some gameplay of that now. <laughs> 